Hola, chocolate muffins! Tis I, Cleo of Games Are For Fight. And as I've been breathlessly panting for the last couple of weeks, VidCon 2014 is almost here! If you can't tell, I'm a little excited. Last year was my first time attending, and I can still hardly believe it's been an entire year since then. I've learned a lot since then, especially since I've been to Playlist Live now as well, so I compiled this list of do's and don'ts to hopefully maximize my, as well as your con experience, and make sure that we all get exactly what we need and want from this VidCon. First up, don't wait until the last second to get ready. Do make a list well in advance and pack while there's still time to realize what else you're going to need. I personally have a tendency to overpack for trips, and this can be really troublesome and a pain in the neck, especially when I have to carry my stuff with me. Oh god, that was a terrible part of Playlist Live. Despite this, I somehow always end up forgetting key items. Some of these are more obvious than others, you know, clothes, toiletries, all that stuff. Some are situationally dependent, such as a sewing kit if you're planning to cosplay. And at an event like VidCon, you can probably probably guess what the most important thing to remember to bring with you is. Recording device and requisite charger. After all, you don't want to finally bump into Tomska and not have a digital camera on hand to record this monumental life event. Or more realistically, find yourself stranded without a ride and have no way to contact help. In fact, if you can, take multiple chargers. Then you don't have to worry so much about losing one as you go panel to panel. Second tip. Don't. Expect to toss everything into one tote bag and keep track of it all. Do. Organize. One of the most exciting things about my experience at VidCon last year was getting to meet so many other awesome content creators just like you. VidCon was a fantastic way to meet other small channel owners and geek out over our shared interests in YouTube. However, one of the most regrettable things was that I didn't have anything on hand to easily keep track of everyone I met, and after the convention I unfortunately lost contact with almost everyone I met there. By the way, if we met at VidCon or Playlist and I haven't contacted you since then, that's probably why. Feel free to message me now! But this year, I'm ready. What you see before you is a binder that I recently purchased and put together using parts from staples as well as some that I made myself. I'm calling it my YouTube bucket list and it's broken into sections. I have this little pencil pouch that I made where I have pencils and post-its and whatnot and then I have several sections where I have paper in each. This is for video ideas, this is for website ideas, other notes, misc materials, and so on. And then I have these which are small pouches for putting, you know, various promotional stuff, uh, things that I drew on other pieces of paper that I want to keep with all of the YouTube stuff. And then here at the back I have what is perhaps the most important part of my YouTube binder. Slots for business cards. Now when I meet people and they so nicely hand me their business card, I can put it right in here as well as add a sticky where I write how I met them and what we had in common so that when I contact them in the future I have something to add besides, hey, met you at VidCon. Let's collab? By the way, speaking of business cards, I continue to be amazed by how many people I meet at cons like this who don't have any. It doesn't matter if your channel's brand new. If you want to promote your channel, you need to have it written down. It doesn't have to be fancy, it could literally just be your channel name written down on a scrap of paper. Just make sure it's legible and hopefully printed on good enough paper that it's not going to crumble the first time someone puts it in their pocket. And have it on hand so when you talk to somebody and find out that your channels are really similar, you can exchange information. I mean, you might tell yourself that you're going to remember that channel name, but odds are you won't. And you'll kick yourself for forgetting it. I know I did. And when you hand it to people, engage with them a little bit. Say, hey, my name is X, my channel's about this, I hope you enjoy it. It's a lot more effective than just... Next point, don't tire yourself out partying all night and feel miserable the next day. Do get plenty of rest, stay hydrated and fed, and take breaks when you need them. Part of the genuine con experience is the sense of frantically running around, panel to panel, meet up to meet up, signing to signing. This is especially true for shorter, more condensed conventions like VidCon, where many interesting panels happen all at once. Now since I don't yet have the technology to clone myself, or exist in multiple temporal locations simultaneously, I have to pick and choose my panels carefully, and hopefully find video of the ones I missed later on. This extends to after hours activities as well. As I said in my previous video about VidCon, here is a link. The most fun I had at the con was probably talking to other YouTubers in the Hilton lobby on the last day. Something about that environment made it feel a lot more like a friend meeting other friends than waiting in line to shake the hand of God. Nonetheless, I only did it on the last evening for a reason. If you stay in the lobby all night hoping for a chance to oogle Jack's Gap or party till dawn with the folks at full screen, you're gonna have a hard time enjoying yourself the next day. 
Of course, people go to conventions for different reasons, and you might not be as interested in learning how YouTube works as I am. But whatever your reason for attending is, isn't it more enjoyable if you're not seeing double and walking into walls? Tip number four, don't hinge your entire enjoyment of the con on a small set of plans. Do make alternate and backup plans in case some of them fall through, and don't let yourself be heartbroken if things don't go exactly as you expect them to. As I mentioned in the previous tip, VidCon has a finite list of events in its agenda, and not all of these can be experienced at once. Sometimes panels are too full, sometimes they get cancelled and staffers don't have time to get the word out. Sometimes special guest YouTubers catch pneumonia two days before their flight, and all you'll be able to line up to see is their paltry cardboard cutout. Life happens, and part of dealing with that means landing on your feet and moving on to different but nonetheless worthy experiences. And in the same vein, don't necessarily pigeonhole yourself into attending for only one reason. Say you're going to VidCon because you're a huge Jenna Marbles fan and you really want to show her that fan art you drew of her as a pink cat. That's fine and dandy, but if you're going to be there for the full three days, why not enjoy some of the other parts of what VidCon has to offer? For instance, if you're a new content creator and your main focus is to forge new connections, don't rely too much on making friends with the big YouTubers, as they're already being swarmed by hundreds if not thousands of other people trying to do exactly the same thing. Perhaps instead, talk to the people around you. You, meet smaller channel owners and see if you have anything in common. Or just make friends! Just by virtue of being in the same place for the same purpose, you already have a lot in common with the people around you. Fight against your shyness, talk to strangers, and try new things. That's what makes a good convention experience into a great one. And finally, the biggest tip, and the one that I will be working the hardest on, don't stalk your idols, or let them know how bitter you are that they don't have time to give you individual attention, or let yourself feel badly that you're not yet part of their ranks. However, do be friendly and outgoing, stay positive, and have fun! This goes for content creation on YouTube as well. If you're desperate and angry, people are gonna notice, and most of them aren't gonna want to be around that. Especially if you're like me and your main focus in going to VidCon is to make new connections and improve your channel, then try to see it from others' perspectives. If you only approach big YouTubers and only talk to them with the intent of using them to piggyback into fame, then why should they want to talk to you? Respect their privacy and treat them as you would any normal, non-famous person, because that's exactly what they are. They just happen to elicit screams when they walk into certain rooms, and maybe companies like to shower them with sponsorships. But underneath all that, they're still normal people. You're not any better or worse than them, and they're not any better or worse than you. So be patient and kind with them, and recognize when they need a break from all the screaming and attention. At the same time, feel free to engage with people you've never seen or heard before. After all, we all start out as obscure, and you never know who you'll get along great with. Waiting in line is a fantastic way to make new friends. Instead of spending the whole time checking Facebook and complaining on Twitter, turn around and start talking to the people around you. Some people might look at you weird, but I assure you others will be glad for the chance to distract themselves, and you can have some pretty interesting conversations while you're stuck in place. So, those are the biggest tips that I could think of. I will be doing my best to follow them, and hopefully they'll be useful for you guys as well. I'll be attending VidCon from Thursday the 26th to Sunday the 29th, including Disney Day, which I'll be going to with Avara from Lunchtime with LaRoe. Or is it LaRue? I always forget. We're dyeing my hair again this weekend, so hopefully the colors will be more vibrant, and I'm not sure what I'm going to be wearing, but if you see me, holla! I would love to say hello to you guys, and you know, be said hello back, because it's kind of weird if I'm the only one saying hello. You know what I mean. And I'll also be all over the Twitters saying I'm going to this panel, I'm going to that panel, so if nothing else, maybe we can bump into each other. I don't think I have enough fans to really put together a meetup, but I'll be around. Look for me. Let's hang. I don't know what hand symbols I should be making. I can hardly believe that VidCon is right around the corner and... I'm excited. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.